Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of January 14th, 2024. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from a very, very chilly Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday I share the energy for the week ahead and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And the first part of this week is our last few days of Capricorn season. We talked about Capricorn energy last week, and there's a lot of it right now. We had that lovely 111 new moon in Capricorn, which helped us get started and move forward with lots of new beginning and fresh start energy. We're finally building some momentum on our goals. And all the Capricorn energy primed us for the changes coming this week. So on Saturday the 20th, Aquarius season starts, and on the same day, we have one of the biggest transits of the year. Pluto moves into Aquarius. This is the start of a whole new era with deep change, both individually and collectively. For an idea of what to expect with Aquarius energy for the next month, we look at the sign's ruling planets. Its modern ruler is Uranus, the planet of revolution, sudden change, and innovation. Uranus has a let's shake things up energy, and it doesn't like anything that's traditional or the status quo. And before Uranus was discovered, Aquarius was ruled by Saturn, the planet of commitment, boundaries, and hard work. And this energy shows up in Aquarius' desire to finish things in a new and a different way. Aquarius likes to reject rules in anything mainstream. And instead, it does things in a completely different and new way. It blazes a new, different, maybe even out there route to doing just about everything. So people with prominent Aquarius placements, that would be like your sun, your moon, your rising sign, they usually value uniqueness over fitting in. But Aquarius is also about being a team player. We'll have lots of social commitments this month, Super Bowl parties, starting new groups or new workout classes. Finding our people and hanging out with our people is up right now. We've gone through a lot of change over the past year and we aren't the same. Our vibes are different than they were and so are our friends' vibes. A lot of us have vibed out of our old friendships and relationships. Aquarius season is the time to find our new people. And we do that by getting out there and doing things that fit the authentic us. So be you. Join the naked drumming circle. Go play Dungeons and Dragons. Learn how to salsa. Aquarius season is for celebrating our uniqueness and embracing our inner weirdo. So this upcoming Aquarius season is different than others, though. It's more powerful and more transformative. It's the beginning of a new 20-year cycle with big changes in both our individual and collective lives. And that's because Pluto, the planet of power and transformation, moves into Aquarius on the same day as the sun and the start of Aquarius season. So we got a sneak peek of what Pluto and Aquarius looks like last year between March and June of 2023. You can look back to what happened in your life around that time for some clues. Pluto is one of three generational planets, along with Uranus and Neptune. So anytime one of these three planets makes a significant shift in the sky, it reshapes our collective views. So when Pluto enters Aquarius this time, it'll bring advancement and changes in healthcare, technology, AI, robots, humanitarian work, global consciousness, and systems of power. By the end of Pluto's time in Aquarius, we'll have moved away from a society that values individualism and personal accumulation of wealth and power to one that supports the collective. This sounds like a fabulous change. Pluto is a slow moving planet and it'll be in Aquarius until 2044. It does have one final quick dip back into Capricorn this year in September, October, November. But all this change doesn't happen overnight. It'll be playing out over the next two decades, but this Aquarius season is the start of the significant changes that are coming. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was 1777, when the American and French revolutions happened. Aquarius season and Pluto moving into Aquarius activate us to become our authentic selves. 
and we'll feel pushed to transform and change what's not in alignment. We'll rebel against everything in our lives that's suppressing our growth as individuals and as a society. So if you feel yourself being bratty about something or just not wanting to do it, those are signs that something needs to change. And it's going to change. That's inevitable. You might feel the need to quit a job or a situation or a relationship. And it's going to happen. So you might as well do it sooner rather than later and make it less stressful for yourself. Toward the end of Aquarius season in mid-February, Venus and Mars will join the Sun, Mercury, and Pluto in Aquarius. That means five planets will be in Aquarius, amping up this transformative energy. So over the next month, we feel the vibe shifting. We feel like a new chapter has started. We'll experience a surge of confidence and optimism. We'll feel like taking charge of our lives. And this is the time to unlearn old ways of coping and survival strategies that have kept us safe in the past. We just don't need them anymore. Maybe overeating has been a way to cope and maybe play it safe by not being seen. It's time to give it up. Same with using drinking and drugging as a coping strategy. You just don't need them anymore. So if you've been thinking about giving up some of these habits, now's the time. It's just easier right now. So hearing about all this change coming can be scary. It feels like we're standing on the edge of the unknown with no idea of what's coming. The great news is that Pluto and Aquarius moves us forward in a positive way. It gets rid of stuff that's not working and that we don't need any longer. And it helps us be more authentic, which leads to being so much happier. There's no need to worry. The universe is conspiring in our favor. And if we just look at how things have prepared us for the shift over the last year, you know, last spring we had no planets retrograde and we made lots of forward progress and we tried new things. Then a summer of almost all the planets retrograde, which gave us time to rethink and figure out what changes we wanted to make. We had time to get clear about what we want our lives to be. And then a couple weeks around the end of the year to rest and get in alignment The new moon last week on 111, I mean, come on. Talk about a positive start to getting us moving forward. All leading up to this big shift forward with Pluto going into Aquarius on the same day the sun moves into Aquarius. You cannot make this shit up. It's all happening for our highest good. So I am a little late getting the podcast up today because it's cold here in Bozeman. Last night was negative 25, which was 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So I decided to stay in the nice warm bed for a couple hours longer than usual. I mean, it's cold everywhere. And the cold really affects our energy, if you haven't noticed. It throws our vata and our kapha energy out of balance. So we feel cold and drier. Our skin gets drier. Our sinuses begin to dry out. Even our joints dry out. And as a result, the mucous membranes in our body start to become irritated and they produce more mucus. And the mucus is a breeding ground for colds, flu, and bacteria. The good news is that just a couple of changes in what we eat can help. So we want to eat more nuts, seeds, and grains, more root veggies like potatoes and sweet potatoes, more protein, and higher fat foods. So healthy fat keeps us warm and it nourishes our skin and our joints. This is also tea season. It warms us up and it helps with digestion. And the one thing to focus on right now is sleep. Keeping a consistent sleep schedule helps balance your energy. So get up and go to bed at the same time every day if you can. Now, that doesn't mean you can't lounge in bed for a couple hours, I'm telling myself, but try to wake up at the same time every day. And naps may be really tempting right now when we're trapped inside, but they also slow down your energy and they make it harder to keep a regular sleep schedule. So drink some tea, eat some butternut squash soup and stay on a regular sleep schedule and you'll feel so much better. And that is it for the week. A quick shout out to Amy and Laura, who told me that every week they listen to the podcast as part of their date night. Hopefully there are other exciting things you do on date night too. But here we go. I mean, change is here. And we're moving forward to our new, more authentic lives. 
can it be a little scary? Um, Yeah, but keep in mind that all of this is for our highest good. The universe has our back. So as always, thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. Stay warm and have a great week, and I will talk to you again next week.